Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah. Now, when um, Yahweh Shah was on earth, who they eagerly called Jesus Christ, he was telling his disciples what was going to happen to Jerusalem. Now, in uh, 20, uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 24, he clearly tells them that they was going to go uh, into slavery into all nations and some was going to die by the sword when, the, when, when Jerusalem was surrounded by soldiers. And he also told them that Jerusalem would be trotting down of the Gentiles. The Gentiles would have Jerusalem under their feet. That means you got total control over Jerusalem. Now when you go to the book of Baruch, chapter 5, verse 36, or I'm Salakia, chapter 5, verse 30 through 35, it talks about people uh, afflicting Jerusalem. And pretty much because Jerusalem was given into their hands. It say in uh, Baruch 5.31, it say, Miserable all day that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which they cho thy children serve. You see, so the children going to be serving these people. They rejoiced at the fall of them, and then they captured the children and pretty much made them serve them. So the, 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 the children of Jerusalem and of Israel would be in servitude. Then it, and when you jump down to verse 35, it tells you that the fire is going to come upon, this, upon these people for what they was doing. And it says, uh, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. So that's exactly what Yahusha said. He said Jerusalem would be trotting down of the Gentiles. So this verse is calling the Gentiles devils. You see, <laughs> that's what the verse is saying. It's the same thing when Deuteronomy 28 uh, 68, he said, you shall be sold unto your enemies, the Gentile. You see, and so they don't understand that the, the, that land over there was going to be inhabited of devils or the Gentiles for a long time. You go to Zechariah 9 and 6, it say, a bat and a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. See, Ashdod is a city in the nation, uh, in, in that area where the nation of Israel was and, uh, or the Holy Land is, around close to Jerusalem. It said in uh, Zechariah 9 and 6, say, And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. So that's letting you know Two individuals is going to be in this land. Now when you go to, uh, let me jump all the way over to uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel talked about it in two places. In Ezekiel 35 and 10, it says, Because thou hast said, now, to give a backdrop of what the chapter 35 of Ezekiel is talking to. In verse uh, 2, it talks about who you who is talking about. It says in verse 2 of chapter 35 in Ezekiel, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. Verse 3, And say unto, thee, unto it, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. So Mount Seir is uh, uh, pretty much another name for the nation of Edom. Because when you go to uh, Genesis 36, when you go to Genesis 36, 
it clearly clearly tells you that Edom or the Edomites dwelt in the land or, or dwelt on in Mount Seir. It clearly tells you that in about five places that Mount Seir and Edom is synonymous with each other. That's where they dwell. So when they say prophesy against Mount Seir, that's who they're talking about, the nation of Edom. So when you get to verse 10, um, it says, Because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. So where was the Lord? The Lord was in the Holy, uh, the Holy Land. So that's one of those nations and countries that these Edomites are possessing. You see? So then you jump jump over to the next chapter and it gives them, it talks about them again in 30 chapter 36 of Ezekiel verse 5 5. It says, Therefore thus says the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, the Gentile. And against all Idumia. Now Idumia is a Greek word for Edom. So he's still talking to the Edomites. He say, Which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So the Idumia, the Greek word for Edom, they appointed the holy land into their possession. That's why Baruch said that she, the Jerusalem would be inhabited of devils for a great time. And that also backing up the point that the Edomites is who the devil is in the Bible. That's who the devil is. And devil just means deceiver. That's who deceiving the world these Edomites because they have appointed the holy land in their possession then when you go to Joel it lets you know further know in uh, Joel chapter 3 verse 2 it says I will also gather all the nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, Israel whom they have scattered among the nations on slave ships I'm at in slave ships and parted my land. Then when you go down, it tells you who parted the land. Tyre, Zidon, the Palestinian, and verse 6 say the Grecians. So the Grecians, the, the, the Zidon, Africans, the Palestine, the Arab, all parted that land and cast lots for the children of Israel on slave ships in the transatlantic slave trade to cut to the chase so when you get to the next book in Amos chapter 1 verse 8 it say then and I will cut cha Amos chapter 1 verse 8 and I will cut off the inhabitant from Ashdod and him that holdeth the scepter from Akalon and I will turn my hand against Ekron and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish then the next verse is talking about uh, the so-called Tyrese, uh, the, the one that was spoken of in jo Joel, that they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom. So now we know who the Grecians is. Because the children of Israel were sold to the Grecian in Joel 3.6. So in Amos 1.9, it's talking about that the African delivered up the whole captivity to Edom, the Grecians. You see? So you got to connect the dots. And when you do connect the dots, we know who is in the Holy Land. It's the, the, the Africans, the Arabs or Ishmaelites, and the Edomites. It's a clear operation. And Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus Christ, said that Jerusalem will be trotting down to the Gentiles until their time is up. 
and the, when they let's get let's get that let's close out on that one because that one is the most powerful uh, verse breaking down what's gonna happen with Jerusalem. He say, uh, and then he say people gonna realize the nation's gonna realize that their time is up and they're gonna be. Their heart's going to be failing them for the fear of what's coming. You see, that's when they know their time is up. Because they're going to see signs in the heavens letting them know their time is up. Something, for, Somebody coming. And when they when they get to the climax in verse 27 of Luke 21, 27, he's saying, Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with, great, with power and great glory. So, that's when... Jerusalem is going to be uh, redeemed because in the next verse it say uh, your redemption lift up your heads because your redemption draws now you now the Israelites the, the inhabitants of Jerusalem can lift up their heads because that's when they're going to uh, receive the land again that's when the Son of Man come out of the sky with great power. Not in 1948 when the so-called uh, rich people say, we're going to pay for y'all to go on back over there. And the Jehovah Wickedness say, oh, we're going to give y'all some instructions and guidelines on how y'all can do this thing. You see, because y'all God's people, you know. That's not how it's going to happen. It was going to happen just like. Yahweh who they're going to call Jesus Christ, said it's going to happen. And he ain't came out that sky yet. So that's why you see these people over there inhabiting the land, got boats and docks and buildings and it's everything looking all organized. They living high. Now let me get my last piece up because this is why it's another indication. Because he said with the pride of their heart, they appointed the land into their possessions with all joy. You feel me? They appointed the land in their possession and they they happy as they want to be. Now, when you go to Obadiah chapter uh, verse 3, it say, The pride of thine heart has deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high. You see, they got skyscrapers, buildings with 20 floors. They living on the hall. They living up high in Ashdod. They have appointed the Holy Land in their possession. Ain't no uh, real Israelites populating the land. Just like Baruch say, it shall be inhabited of devils for a great Time. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders pushing the truth worldwide. Uh, peace to the elect Israelites, the chosen fruit. The kingdom is at hand. Shalom.